Okay, so we're going to look at um, a doing a hypothesis test for binomial distribution. Um, and the scenario is this. Uh, we're interested in going to Perth, Australia, in October. Um, but we're worried about the wind speed. We don't like it too windy. So we go into the travel agents, and the travel agent reassures us and says, no, 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 95% of the days um, in October, the wind is light or calmer as measured by the Beaufort scale. Um, travel agents have to be trained to have this sort of knowledge at their fingertips. Anyway, we're a little bit dubious about that, so we decide to use a large data set to investigate, um, and um, we uh, are going to test using this variable. So x is the number of days where the wind is light or calmer. Okay, so we're testing that, um, and X follows a binomial distribution uh, with 31 trials and a probability of success of P. So 31 trials because we're looking at um, the data um, from October, so October 2015. Uh, so null hypothesis, the travel agent is correct. The probability is 0.95. Alternative hypothesis, it's less than 0.95. So if we go to the large data set, um, and here's the data here. So 1st of October 2015, um, the wind speed was light. Um, and if we go down and count the number of days, it's light or calmer than light. Actually, light is the calmest it gets in October. Um, but we've got one, two, three, four. Well, I'll spare you the misery, actually. It turns out that it's pretty much always light, apart from one... Um, two, three, four days when it's not light, when it's moderate. So that's uh, four days from 31. So that means 27 of the days um, the uh, wind speed is light. Okay, so um, let's have a look at this. What does this mean? So under the null hypothesis, um, we said X follows a binomial distribution with 31 trials, probability of success 0.95. Now, we've observed 27 days um, when the wind speed is light. Now that seems a bit low, it's so 95% of 31, I don't know what that is exactly, but I'm sure that 27 is less than that. But the question is, how much less than it? Is it significantly less? Uh, so we get our graphics calculators and then using this distribution, so 31 trials, probability of success 0.95, we're going to try and find the probability that x is less than or equal to uh, 27. So what's the probability of getting a result as extreme or more extreme than the one that we observed given that the probability is 0.95? So if we use the binomial cumulative distribution function on your calculator uh, and you work that probability out, it turns out to be 0.067. One, two, four, oh, four. So um, that probability is obviously less than, sorry, it's greater than 0 0.05. So it's not in the most extreme 5% of results under that hypothesis. Um, therefore, um, there isn't evidence that the, high, the, the travel agent is wrong. So um, this large data set supports their claim. Um, so if we were writing it up, we'd say um, we accept H0, and putting that in context, there is not evidence that the um, that the probability of um, of the wind being still or calmer is less than 0.95 okay so the, there's not evidence that the travel agent was lying there we go so we can proceed to Perth 
in the safe knowledge that um, it should be uh, calm, uh, still.